All right. The news has got to go. I'm tired of looking. You can't escape this whole COVID thing anymore and the doomsday predictions on anything. I dare you to go on Google right now. Just go on Google and there'll be a bunch of shit all about COVID, all about how, how we're fucked, how, you know, it's the end of the world as we know it. And I feel fine and other people don't. It's a bunch of bullshit. I'm tired. Every fucking thing I get from CNN, from Bloomberg, from everything else that I see, is just horrible. What are some, and local news too. Well, social distancing might be the new norm for 25 more years. We might not ever be able to shake hands again. Fucking, you can forget about it. We're going to start teaching you how to fuck from afar using, you know, apparatuses that can actually go into each other's, you know, little portholes and exchange fluid that way. But, you know, remember to wear gloves and masks while you do it. They're just getting ridiculous with this shit. Like, uh, we don't think that the country's really going to open up for another, I don't know, six years. Like... You can forget about concerts. Did you think you were going to a concert this summer? Did you? Guess what? You're not. <laughs> You're not. None of you. None of you. Big weddings. You think they're going to happen this year? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say 2021, maybe, kind of, sort of, if we feel like it. It's just every time I look, like I'm trying to look for entertainment news or something else I can rip on. <laughs> something that's fun and i look or even go on youtube youtube at least you can get away from it a little bit but just reading shit like twitter everything else or like google news all you get is these little headlines what was one of the ones i saw the other day like turns out coronavirus can live on surfaces for twenty five thousand years if you touch anything you're gonna fucking die (laughs) buses are now operating This is a true story, too. Buses are now operating. You can only enter through the rear. If they don't have a pay machine in the back, you have to sit in the back of the bus and just shut the fuck up and rock back and forth and cry. And you're not allowed on the bus unless you have a mask. Right now, I'm not wearing a mask because I keep losing them. Okay, these I'm not paying seven fucking dollars for a mask every time. These fucking people at all these gas stations stuff, $7.99, $8.99 for a fucking mask, for a cheap piece of cloth. That you would think I'd be, you know, smart enough to make myself. I can't. It falls off. I'm really, really good at losing shit. I'm not going to keep buying a mask. Luckily, I'm getting a mask today. Steve's copping one for me, so that's good. I'm going to try to keep that one because it's a black one. It kind of looks cool. kind of looks like I'm in, like, you know, a Street Fighter or something. <laughs> like Ninja Gady and one of those old school, like, I look like Bane or something like that with that shit. The black ones look better. The other one just look, made me look like, like a Romanian surgeon. Like, I didn't like it. Like, it was too big for my face and all that. It was kind of hanging there. If you saw the last live stream, you know what I'm talking about. But these fuck... Oh, my God. If I see one more thing, like, well, classes may never resume on campus until about, I don't know, 2026. And kids might all have to do their work from home on iPads that are placed approximately 100 feet from them. And if you live at home with your parents, you are not allowed to see touch your parents, get a hug from anybody for at least the next three years because what the, Christmas shopping? Are we talking about that already? Hate to tell you, we've canceled Christmas. <laughs> I get, I'm, it's going to be some dumbass shit like that. This is going to, this is going to extend. This is why it's so depressing because we know this is going to extend into bullshit. We know it. Watch Halloween. Well, we thought about Halloween this year, but we are worried that kids are going to touch candy and then touch other kids and then, you know, touch people who touched candy and then somebody will get a cough and your limbs will all fall off. So we're going to say no Halloween and no trick-or-treating this year. In fact, everybody, let's have a fun little game called Stay at Home Again. Come on, stay at home again. I think this is some government experiment to try to get everybody to stay at home, go fucking cabin fever like the shining crazy and kill their fucking families. How many fucking family homicides have there been yet? Uh, somebody's covering some shit up, but I just can't, I can't with the fucking news anymore. I can't just stop it. Stop with the bad predictions. Give me good news. I don't get, there's not one like good piece of like, hey, things are kind of looking better at the Corona front. Like you have to dig for it. Like actually the shit's going down in my state. It's going down in a couple other states too. It's not like perfect, but it's going down. They don't tell you that right away. They're like, well, yeah, eating in a restaurant, <laughs> you may have the plate of fr- uh, food thrown at you by a waiter. <laughs> who's really, really good at, you know, like disc tossing and shit like that. And he might be wearing, he'll be wearing a mask and gloves. As a matter of fact, you'll have to learn how to eat through a mask. It's impossible, but you got to do it. And gloves while using your utensils. And they're going to take out like 80% of the seating. So most of you are going to be standing preferably on one leg because we actually think that's what the CDC is going to recommend on this one. Uh, Stop, just stop, 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 stop. Can you tell I'm cranky? Can't take the shit. No more. (laughs) 